My name is Shauna C. Melvin, and I will be talking about acculturation. The definition is the exchange of cultural features that results when groups come into continuous firsthand contact. The original cultural patterns of either or both groups may be altered by this contact. To me, acculturation means trading characteristics from one culture to another. A scenario would be a husband and a wife from two different religious backgrounds getting married. For example, a Christian and a Muslim. Although they both believe in God, the culture of religions are totally different. Muslims celebrate a holiday every year called Ramadan. And although Christians do believe in fasting, it's not as prominent as Ramadan. Muslims also refer to their worshiper as Allah, and Christians refer to their worshiper as God. Um, they also have worship service on two different days of the week. Therefore, when a husband and a wife get married from two different religious backgrounds, most likely one person is going to have to sacrifice and change their religion and their beliefs for the other. Acculturation to me means being from one society, uh, coming from one culture, and having to move and get used to the dominant culture. For example, prisoners come out of jail back into society and they have to get used to their surroundings. They've probably gotten used to that jail mindset, things to do, things not to do, think what may offend some people, what won't offend some people. It's a whole different thing. Another example is veterans. When they come out of the army, they have to adjust back into society. You know, a lot of people have what they call PTSD from trying to get back, work their way back into society from being in those wars and stuff like that. Hi, my name is Kobe Robertson. An example of acculturation is like an American trying foods from different countries for the first time ever. Trying things out of their comfort zone that they normally wouldn't eat. For an example, me and a friend of mine went to Jamaica and we tried Jamaican style jerk chicken and various other foods that they had and watched them perform a Jamaican fire dance that they practiced and perfected. All consisting of moves that I've ne personally never seen before and will probably only see in their country. We also went to went to a tool forge where we learned how they made their specific tools and everyday appliances. Another example is someone from Spain or any other country playing football, which is a custom often linked to the United States. A game they would normally play is football, known as soccer here, would be introduced to a game that they have never seen or heard of before. Acculturation pertains to many different fields of trying foods or certain activities that are uncommon for where they live, such as taking your shoes off at the door, which is a sign of respect in certain countries. Hi, <clears throat> my name is Kayla Spool, and acculturation can be exemplified as, let's say, let's go back to our attack in 2001, the terrorist attack, the National Security Agency needed Arabic speakers and Arabic culture experts who, who might not have been available for, who not have been available at all, Arab speaking immigrants abandon their language and customs in favor of English in American ways. Um, to aid in the acclimation process, employees should be encouraged to approach colleagues who speak a language um, other than English and ask them to, how to say hello or other simple words. Basically, we should learn to learn their culture and their ways so we can also make them feel welcome while learning, but while they learn us and we learn them. This will increase workplace connections and help non-English speaking peers feel welcome and valued in the organization as well. Thank you. Hello everybody, I'm Antonio Van Rail. With our work being acculturation, I think my best example would be my upbringing and being born and raised in Queens, New York. Um, New York in general is a melting pot for a multitude of different cultures and cuisines and the food in New York represents and has representation from numerous different nations. Some include Chinese, Italian, Mexican, French, African, Indian, and Caribbean. Um, that representation is so strong that a lot of cultures gravitate and accept other cuisines and prefer other cuisines more than their own food and cuisines from their native culture. Thank you.